Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Texas A&M Corpus Christi Islanders and the Texas Longhorns. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, it looks like an m and m but you never know. If they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favorite. The Longhorns are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the key should be simple tonight, Brad. First, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Next, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Thirdly, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Try to pack it inside. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. On the dribble, gives it up. With anticipation defensively. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He shoots from the top of the key. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. The frustration right there. For the bucket. Knocks it down. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Gave it up. The center takes the pass. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Tanner is pretty fired up and excited. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Nice fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Fed the low block. Number 54 with the fake. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Look at that spacing. From beyond the arc, he gets it to go. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Entry pass in the paint. The fake. He pump fakes. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. The shooting guard gets the ball. Inside, down in the low block, trying to work the lane. You betcha. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Oh, 
He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. He'll regroup the offense. On the dribble, gives it up. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? He tries the three ball. Texas A&M Corpus Christi are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Gave it up. A high screen. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Inside. The center gets the pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. They still don't score. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He's got a nice shot fake. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He does the sweet fake shot. 10 on the shot clock. Can't get the shot to go. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Looking to move it around the perimeter for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential to the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. High step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little burst to go up in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Good fake. Step out on that screener. Get that sucker out of the game, man. On the outside, he launches a three, way off target. Turns it over, leaning in, trying to draw contact. They're working around the perimeter. The small forward with the ball. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, you've got to be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. With a 
Puck it. Perfectly executed. Here's another look, Dick. There's the trap. Let's it fly. He hits the shot. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Boston, Texas is going crazy, baby. Stolen away. And he'll kick it back outside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dump it inside. Gave it up. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. In the paint. There's the pick. There's the roll. With the fake. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Strip red. Working it around the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> the small forward takes the feed. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The ball goes out of bounds. Number 54 in the paint. And now they'll bring it up. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brown. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, the crowd is enjoying this close one. The fans are just waiting for the favorites to pull away. But will it happen here tonight? All right, thanks, Aaron. Up and inside. Comes defensively on him in the low block. Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Dickie simply on fire. Hey, go to the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. 
On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Goes. Here's a double team. He shoots from downtown. Makes it. Gave it up. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He shoots from outside. It sticks. Here it is. Takes the pass in the paint. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He shoots from right of the circle. Rebound. Then I've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. The luckiest fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. There's a high screen. They had a shot block. And the ball goes out of play. Point range. Off the rim and no good. And he scores it off the glass. Look at that spacing. Barry's at home. This crowd will go crazy if they get a shot to go down here. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Number 23 set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on a defensive end of the floor. Out of both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. Looking for a good shot. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. Pushing that basketball. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets it to fall. Roll that replay ready, boys. But inside. Steals a pass. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Let's take a second look. Moving it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And it's stolen away. Here they go into the break. 
on the inside. Goes up for two. He gets that one to fall. Shoots from left of the circle, way off target. On the outside, for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The center is going crazy. Boston, Texas is going crazy, baby. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Looking for a good shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Fakes it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Working it around the perimeter. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Look at that spacing. Way out on top, gets the rejection. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He fires from long range. Makes the shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for the foul. It's good. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Two for one opportunity. And a momentary look from three-point land. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries for two. He used the screen beautifully to free himself for the easy deuce. Shot clock is dead. For the bucket. And in and out. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Got a guy right up on him. Goes up for two. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. At halftime, the Islanders are up by four. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Texas seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit them hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. I smell upset, Brad. What do you think? I wouldn't rule it out, that's for sure. We've got a team who has nothing to lose and another that has everything to lose. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Good teams will get to the line often. 
but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For two. I did a great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. And one too many dribbles and a steal. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon in the end. The center has gone wild. Boston, Texas is going crazy, baby. For the bucket, doesn't go. And he'll kick it back outside. He's got some room. There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the elbow. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Fake. Double team now, bad angle. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They'll work it around the arc. Defense giving some room. Whistle and a foul. Coach not happy on the sideline. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. At the foul line. First one, good. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Gets the second shot. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Makes them all. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. There's a double team wait. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Takes away the pass. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Goes up for two, and off the mark. Perfectly executed. Jumps into the defender. Up, easy one. On the dribble, gives it up. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Takes some pride on a defensive end. There's the screen up on top. 
He attempts the three, gets it to fall. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's the trap. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. with a baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Intercepted. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He shoots from the top of the circle. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Looking for contact. Texas are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Picks off the lazy pass. He takes the shot off the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. He intercepts it. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. Nice shot. He intercepts it. Look at that spacing. Como picks up the defensive foul. Fourth team foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Gets his first. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Boston, Texas is going crazy, baby. The Longhorns are ahead by eight. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Set that screen away. Puts up the tray. Scorches the net.
strips the ball. Fast break opportunity here. High post flashes for the ball handler. He shoots from the baseline. Tickles a twine. In the paint. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Nice high post screen. Oh, yes. Gave it up. He launches the bomb. Not there. I'll tell you what. Coach may have to invite the mascot to the trams next year. That guy's got great jumping ability. Did you see him after the last dunk? What a high riser. This guy wants the play. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. For the bucket, sinks the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. The Islanders trail by five. back and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot that spin move not successful Dick I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn a great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. They work the perimeter. Tries for two, perfectly executed. Picks off the pass. The center is going crazy. Austin, Texas is going crazy, baby. He buries the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Robs him of the ball. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, it's an emotional scene on the underdog's bench right now. The players are starting to realize this one is slipping away, and you can see the disappointment on their faces. Guys? Steal. And here they come the other way in transition. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The 
Oilers will step to the line for the first time. Good. Texas A&M Corpus Christi have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Looking for a good shot. From right at the circle, he gets the bucket to fall. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Sinks it. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. Got to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He throws up the shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. They're working around the arc. Takes the pass in the paint. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. They're definitely having some fun out there. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Picked off. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. I love this guy, Hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? They work it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. Got it. Intercepted. <laughs> Gave it up. The point guard handles the feed. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There they come with a double team to stop it. The ball goes out of play. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Takes away the pass. Pushes it. Look at that spacing. He puts it up. Buries it. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Aaron. 
The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. The Jays doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Side and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. There's the pick. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. First one is good. Second one is good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Picks off the pass. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. They work the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Waters handles the pass. Dump it inside. Great defense. Full court pass. Tries for two. Hey, no weak side help from the D, Brad. Looks like they're just standing around out there. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes it away. On the outside, the small forward receives the pass with a rejection. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He intercepts it. The point guard receives the ball. He shoots from right of the circle. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Six points is the difference. Wow, do they need a basket badly, Brad? Momentum will decide it. Off the rim and no good. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. He goes to the free throw line. Makes the first. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Misses the second. Gave it up. They work it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. In the paint. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebounding ability. High post screen. Tries a three. He buries the shot. the pass. 
This is college basketball at its best, Dick. The man is off the charts, Brad. Here's the offensive drop step. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. Now it's matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to be able to get to that winner's circle. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. And the clock stopped with a foul. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Foul, and that stops the clock again. He goes to the line. Got it! It's good! A basket here will make this a two-possession game. Players got a much needed breather with that timeout. He tries the three ball, rims out for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. On the dribble, gives it up. This thing's going back to the drawing board, Dick. This wasn't supposed to happen. We didn't expect that they were going to lose this ball game, and I'm sure. Their fans and their coaching staff didn't expect it either. I think the coaching staff's got to get them back in a practice environment and get them to be intense. I didn't like the way they were acting at the shoot around. I thought they were too cocky then, and it reflected in the way they played. They were absolutely beaten today by a club that was ready to perform. Texas loses in a close game. This is the type of game that the coaching staff will be studying for weeks to come. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.